Hello fellow customizer. Today I'm customizing another pair of black Air Force Ones. Again, this is part of the series Only the Swoosh. This Only the Swoosh upload contains artwork from the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And as always, if you like watching these episodes, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below and let me know what you are currently customizing. Working again with Procreate, I have my black Air Force Ones up here. I use the eraser tool to remove the swoosh. And on a layer just beneath the Air Force One layer, I can upload any picture and resize it accordingly. I admit this step is not necessary. It is really fun and it is something that I can follow and make sure I don't go off track. Plus, I do a lot of custom orders and my collectors appreciate this extra step so that they know exactly what they are getting from me. I decided to also throw in the Modern Warfare logo here on the bottom right corner. With a piece of paper, you can trace out and cut the exact swoosh size on your Air Force Ones. With my Procreate set to print preview, I can hold up my paper swoosh to the screen. Now I admit this is a Stone Age way to go about doing this. However, it has worked for me this entire time. I can resize my swoosh artwork according to the actual swoosh on the shoe. Here are my swoosh prints, again making sure they are the exact size I need them to be. And once cut out, they fit exactly as needed. To get through this project as quickly as possible, I am using blue Sorrel transfer paper. There is an Amazon affiliate link down below for this blue Sorrel transfer paper, as well as other products I use in different videos from Amazon. First thing first, I need to remove the factory finish from the leather. I'm using the Angelus Direct Leather Prepare and a Glazer and a Q-tip just to remove the finish on the areas I will be painting today. Next up, one layer of flat black. This will camouflage any discolorations that the leather preparer and the glazer may have left. By tracing the printed image, I leave a blue chalk outline that is very easy to follow and is also easy to clean up with a damp rag. The majority of the work today is completed using a Princeton Select size 18 short liner.
One of my favorite colors from the Angelus collection is Grinch Green. It is a very thick color and it usually goes on pretty solid with one or two layers. The Modern Warfare logo will need a second coat to straighten up my lines and to fill in any negative spots, but I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes. difficult to see but I cut the tip of the bristles off with scissors and now I am left with a tiny a kind of stump that's going to produce like a chiseled paint texture. And this texture is perfect for the skull face. pre-laced the Air Force Ones with some neon green laces from Lace Lab. I had them covered up just in case there was any overspray from my paint. And last but not least is the matte four coat urethane finish just to protect the Air Force Ones from the elements. This is a super fun, quick little customization video. I love these kinds of videos. I, I try to make them as easy to follow as possible. So in case you decide not to use these techniques on leather, you can still use them on wallets or denim or backpacks or really anything to customize the perfect holiday gifts. And these are the complete Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Black Air Force Ones. If you have any questions, all of my contact information is down below as are links to all the products I used in this video. Big thanks to Angela Strike for the paint and thanks guys for watching.